You see, I live right across the road from that farm. But what happened to me there that day, I'll never forget. I found a human head. This is our 30th annual Ghost Walk. It's an event that we partner with the Fine Arts Council with every year. We get over a couple thousand individuals uh, over the two weekends to come out, and it helps support a lot of the other events that we go got going on throughout the year. We come every year. This is our fourth year. I've come out here every year for the past four or five years. Enjoy it every year. We have a lot of history in Warren, and it often goes unnoticed. Where the devil are your shovels? How are we supposed to get these graves dug? We actually need about 50 volunteers a night for Ghost Walk. So um, we actually, and it's all volunteer base. Don't you know those new laws with the Spanish influenza going on? We got to have them buried by midnight? In the graveyard, um, I heard about the, um, a sneezing disease. Yeah, the influenza. I love how the actors come back as ghosts and they still think it's the time that they lived in and how they act that out. I was cleaning, polishing the floors outside of Sheriff Barry's office when a man came up to me. Now, I had never seen this man before, but he told me to tell Judge Gilbert that everyone needed to get out of the building right now. I didn't realize that the courthouse we have now on the, scare, uh, on the square is not the original courthouse. Uh, the original courthouse actually, well, burnt down. That car would be involved in both of their deaths. Though neither died as a result of an accident. This is the first year that the Fine Arts Council and the Historical Societies have been working together a lot more closely than they have in the past. Um, and our goal is to create more of a cultural tourism industry in Warren. Everybody loves uh, one of our stories, that uh, Aunt Lizzie. I'm Aunt Lizzie. Anyway, they found her body right down there. Of course, no one here at the house talks about it. The story is Aunt Lizzie, she is the maiden aunt of the um, Perkins family. Her sister married into the Perkins family. They're a big deal. Simon Perkins helped found this whole valley and uh, Henry Perkins was um, a very influential banker. Um, he was a, um, a politician and so forth too, but he had uh, mental issues. So I get to scream every night. There was this older guy, wasn't dressed like the rest of us, he known over me and asked me why I was here. I liked the Vietnam vet when we saw him up at the memorial. I thought that was really poignant. The veteran story, I thought it was a, a good story. The patch on the sleeve said 5th Infantry and the name on his uniform, McDougal. It was the guy that saved my life. But I don't get it. Because he didn't look any older than he did when he saved me in Vietnam. I think the coolest thing is, is learning about the people that lived here. I mean, Warren's been around for a long time. The date was Friday, October 19, 1900. My favorite part was um, we had a young lady with us to sign the tour to anyone deaf that came out tonight. It's definitely something different uh, for people to have that access and, um, you know, sometimes the deaf aren't included in things. I love this area of Warren, the houses, just all the history of Warren that I never even knew. Things that happened here I never knew. It's something that individuals like myself that now have children want to bring them out and kind of share a little bit of the history of Warren. People appreciate good history um, and if it's scary or not scary um, I think it's something that everybody has in common. We all have histories, we all have a sense of place and I, it's a great opportunity for people to come out and experience history in that sort of way.